Hello everyone and welcome to another video review by Darth Devious and today we're going to take a look at the Little Legends class Shockwave from Combiner Wars. And I've got him in robot mode here because I think, you know, his transformation should be reversed. Now I did add a little bit of paint to him, not too, too much. Um, I painted the silver on the side of his legs which they molded in the side panels from his G1 toy and from his G1 cartoon self but they didn't paint him so I painted them I painted his feet silver just to have him stand out and they look better in his gun mode and the other thing I painted was the targeting reticule on his back that shows up better in gun mode and then I added um, some black paint to the little thruster points there otherwise I did not touch him very much and he is really the winner for the Combiner Wars Little Legends class figures. I mean, going back to, to the beginning, he is probably one of the best they've ever done. He's got a ball joint on his head. Look at that. His noggin can move around. He's like, oh, this is not logical. You can see he's got his G1 single eye and even the silver on his ears. Nice Decepticon symbol, nice transparent purple there, and then there's some here for the gun mode. He does have his gun arm, which is a nice touch. There is no hose. Um, I may try to fashion one someday, maybe find something that I can plug in, but the reality is he's going to be staying as the gun for my Bruticus. He does have a fist on this side. It's clear, but it's there. He's got ball joints at his shoulders. If you use the transformation joint, you can actually lift that all up and get some more articulation out of it. Does a 360. He's got a ball joint there. Um, the, the transformation joint here only goes back. It does stop going forward. That would have been nice if it was still able to move forward because it would make a nice double elbow, but it doesn't need to. It's fine. He can still, you know, pew, pew, pew. no waste. He does have ball joints at his hips. He's got cuts at his thighs. Full range of movement as need, mainly because of transformation. And his feet can pivot back and forth a little bit. So you can get him in some really neat poses. There we go. That looks cool. Now, I do have the Combaticons, at least the Deluxes. Um, probably by the time this video actually goes up, Onslaught will have already arrived. So I will be doing a video, at least one or two videos, on the Combaticons and Bruticus. So for right now, my, my Combaticons are on Galvatronus, so that's where I'm going to show them off in this video. Just to show you how he works. But basically, his transformation is fairly, fairly simple. Um, his head goes goes in when you pull up the targeting reticule. You want to bring this down if you're going to use, use it as gun mode. If you don't want to use it as gun mode, leave it up. You can use it as a fly, the flying gun mode. Um, these arms... I always get screwed up on these. <laughs> I'm not perfect, but there are peg holes here that peg into the pegs on the side of the trigger. Do that, and then you can put these arms together. And then they fold back and then up on the transformation joint there. And that's his back end done. So you can see where I painted the thrusters there, if you can. His legs you want to bring down this joint here. You see he's got one of those joints like, um, I think it's breakdown. I don't know. His works better though. And then you gotta rotate them so that what's now the silver. With the G1 molded part there is on the bottom. You want to flip his feet all the way up so they're out of the way. You want to rotate them at the swivel, not the 
joint. Because that happens. Okay, you want to just collapse that in as I'm doing it upside down and backwards. And these just peg together. Come on. This is why I don't transform things on camera, folks, because I suck at it. But there you go. There he is. And you see, I added a little bit of silver paint to the guns on the inside there to make them stick out. And as you can see where I did the targeting reticule with some metallic blue and some silver. Makes it stand out nice. Anyway, here's his gun mode. He can be held by some of the deluxe figures, leader class figures, not so much. Voyagers, it depends on how their hands are because of this extra piece. But he's really made to be in a combiner hand. So let me bring up Galvatronus, who's holding the Combaticons. Gotta come back. And up here. And basically the hole in the hand by the thumb, you can do that. His fingers gotta be out. Plug it in. Come on. Um yeah. Blast off's tail fins get in the way a little bit. There we go. And Blastoff's thighs are not tight enough to really hold it up. I'm going to have to tighten them up before I get Bruticus together. But he basically, there you go. He holds him as a gun. To reenact the one episode of Generation 1 where Bruticus used Shockwave as a gun. So there you go. There. Now he's holding him cheating because it's resting on there but I'm going to tighten up all these guys a little bit before Onslaught gets here anyway there you go so there you go that's what Shockwave can do he really is the winner of uh, the Combiner Wars Legends figures in my opinion can't go wrong you guys all be good I'm out of here